girl. Ready for your haircut? Okay. Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I groom this pet Westie. Now most Westies, uh, well show, show Westies their hand stripped so they don't even get the clippers on their body. But most pets um, get clippered and not, not hand stripped because it is very expensive and time consuming. So um, I'm doing a short, shorter clip for the summer. And when I use the lowest I go actually is a number one, a number one uh, stainless steel comb with, on a 30 blade. So the 30 blade and this is the number one or the brown, um, it says half uh, inch, 13 millimeters. So I just use this on the back. I, I don't back home on Westies, I just leave it back home and just start at the shoulders here and work your way to, 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 uh, toward the tail. And then for the sides here, yeah, and I turn my clippers. Never really, never, never do this. If you do this on the side, you're going to leave a line and that, that just looks horrible. I've seen some dogs like that, but just, it just looks horrible. You have to uh, blend it in. So I'm coming down the sides like lightly here. I'm not really digging in. And I'm just skimming over the hair that's down the side here and the top of the leg. I just go uh, behind the hip and the neck there and down the throat. I go right down where the, uh, the breastbone starts. You can feel the bones here, the shoulders and breastbone there. Unless you do have cowlicks, you should like that one. It just creates like a little hole. So when you're doing behind uh, the head, like the neck, don't shave off this hair that's behind the ears. You don't want to shave that off. You want to leave a little bit back there just to make the head look nicer. So I'm just coming off the shoulders. I'm going down. I'm not digging in. I'm just blending off. Like so I'm not turning my clippers in, it's just coming straight down like from here. The same with the sides here. So always when you do the middle of the back, you go that way and then you start turning your clippers. And you don't want to leave that line. The rest is supposed to look natural, all blended in, with no line. Never leave a line here. Yeah, so that's how I do uh, the back. That's the number one. Now the tail is supposed to look like a carrot. So if you know what a carrot looks like, it's pointy on the top and then it gets wider in the bottom. So this is what the, the tail should look like, like pointier at the end and wider at the base. I mean, if it's just a pet, it doesn't really matter. You can do the tail any way you want. So I just trim it um, that way. I do the carrot tail. It's supposed to show that they have a you know a strong a strong tail. And really, if you feel the tail, that's how it's shaped. So even if you shave it, it will still look like a carrot. So I just take my scissors and just cut it like a carrot. <laughs> I've already trimmed the rectum there. Like that. It's a carrot tail. And then for the legs, I use the number zero over a 30 blade again. It's a zero. It's a little bit longer than the blade I used on the body. And basically I just clip down the legs. 
This is just a simple, shorter, but easier hairstyle for a Westie. And again, I don't really back comb the legs. I just clip down and just tidy up the ends. And that's all about, I'll do for that. And I'll just trim around the um, feet and then the side, the furnishing, skirt, whatever you want to call it. Turn around, honey. I'll get it from this way. Sorry, hopefully you can see. So I've shaved the whole belly. I've shaved all under here for the cooler, to stay cooler on the tiles, floors. And so basically I just have the sides here. Come here. So that's how I do a shorter summer cut on a Westie. Then I just tidy up the feet. She has very wavy hair. So the feet, you know, it's hard to get them exactly round. What I do is I just comb out the sides here, like basically doing on the the edges, like, uh, move over, sweetie. Like doing the silhouette. I don't back comb the rest of the hair, just on the outside here. Okay, and do your other, other foot. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos. If you click on the bell icon, you'll get notified when I upload videos. And um, give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Thanks for watching.